in the name of my ancestors. <sighs> Peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the gatekeeper of this particular program, known here on the internet, on Vimeo, MySpace, Daily Motion, Facebook, and perhaps many other places. I am known as the mighty, mighty, mighty mm, Angel Snub Nub Seven. I am your brother and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn <laughs> I'm sorry, this this subject sort of makes me laugh because I, I already know what I want to say. And those of whom I am I am directing this uh, conversation to, chances are they don't really like me. <laughs> so uh, they don't feel as though uh, I'm their brother. And uh, in reality, we are not. Because if you don't stand with me, if you don't care nothing about my welfare, if you align yourself with those who cause me harm, no, you are not my brother. You are not my sister simply because you have dark skin, simply because you have a broad nose, thick lips, and kinky hair. And some of y'all are trying to get rid of that with your plastic surgery, cutting, cutting your nose off, cutting your lips off, and all those type of things. So perhaps we are not, and I cannot be your brother because uh, we are on different sides of the fence. You are on the side of wickedness, lies, and deceit. And I stand for real truth, justice, and equality for all on this planet, including animal life. In fact, this earth itself needs to be brought back into balance, brought back into what y'all call peace. I would like to speak briefly about a particular mentality and that mentality y'all call the mentality of an Uncle Tom the mentality of the Sambo the mentality of what I call the backyard Negro the mentality of, of whom I call the dark Europeans these are dark-skinned individuals that really Really, 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 really love pink people, racist Caucasian people. They love them for some reason. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, why do these symbols, why do these dark Europeans, why do they love the racist pink people? They love them because they give them nothing. Because they abuse them because they lie to them. They love them for these things. But of course they can't stand you. They can't stand me. They can't stand those who are who look like themselves. And I don't want to get you too upset, Uncle Tom, dark European son. But I, I'm just I'm gonna stop talking about and I'm not gonna talk about your masa. The racist pink people. I'm not going to talk about them. On this particular video, I will eventually talk about them, but this is not what that, that, this video is about. This video is about you. I have said in prior videos to this one that the Uncle Tom, the Sambo, the Dark European, these are some very confused individuals. How are they confused? Let, let me bring this and present uh, before us this example of their mentality. The Uncle Tom, the Sambo, the Uncle Ruckus, the Dark European, they are patriotic. I said it again. The Uncle Tom, the Sambo, the Dark European, Uncle Ruckus, these type Negroes are very, very, very patriotic to America. God Blood. I seen some Negroes this morning on uh, the news. They were like, God bless America. They are very patriotic. 
They believe in freedom and give me liberty. Now, I don't know why they believe in it because they never had it. They never experienced it. But here they go. I believe in freedom. America is freedom. Now, check this out. And they hate dictators now. We represent democracy. They love freedom. And it is dumb to believe in freedom because that don't exist in the way that you believe that it exists. It is dumb for you to believe that you are really free. That's a delusion and a trick. There's no such thing. And I'll explain that perhaps as we go to the conclusion of this video. They hate the Akatam, the Sambo. They hate the Dark European. They hate dictatorships. Saddam Hussein was a dictator. Muammar Gaddafi was a dictator. We can't have none of that. Because first of all, our Masa, the great racist white or pink people. I hate saying white because they are not white. They are pink. Or the racist Caucasian people in power who they love. They don't like dictatorships. Most of the time. Now, most of these dark Europeans they are Christians. What do you think, what kind of rulership, what type of king do you believe that Jesus or this God, what do you think they demonstrate? What do you think they represent? All religions represent dictatorship. It's my way. Only. Or no way at all. They can handle that. And all these gods and goddesses and these religions... Are they fair? Are they just? No, they are not. They are dictatorships. Quick example. You're driving down the road and you lose a tire off your car. The tire becomes free. All right? When any, anytime something becomes free, there's anarchy. There's chaos. You're going to have trouble. In this case, you're going to have an accident because the in order for you to drive that car properly, you need that tire on the car. But when the tire is under some type of law, when the nuts and the bolts are properly tightened, and the tire does what it should do within the law that it was manufactured, then there is no incident. You drive safely. You have to have law. The only problem with law is if the law is unjust and unfair. Because you cannot have freedom. Freedom equals anarchy. And that's why you live in this country. Because we do have freedom. Let me hurry up and get through this video real quick. Maybe I'll go ahead and just, just take the time that I need. Because I, I want to talk to these people because like I say the upper time these Negroes they are they are very confused so I love freedom freedom of speech freedom of the gun freedom of the press oh I love freedom in America you can be free so if that's the case then why can't I why can't people have the freedom to act a fool how come I can't have the freedom to be ignorant how come I can't have the freedom to be a hoe? How come I can't have the freedom to be a drunk? Why are you going to get upset with me when I am exercising my right as an American to be a fool, to be a drunk, prostitute, whore, or whatever you want to call it? How come I don't have the freedom to wear my pants sagging? Why are you Uncle Tom and Dark Europeans and Uncle Ruckus? Why are you going to get on people's case about that? This is America, land of the free. But it's free according to what you dictate to be free. That shows you are a hypocrite. You don't want. you talking about I fight for freedom. But when people exercise their right to be stupid. Don't people have the right to be stupid if that's the case? Don't I have the freedom if I'm a woman to abort my baby? It's my body. In fact, under the Constitution. Not the Constitution. Yeah, I think uh, Roe versus Raid or whatever. A woman has the right 
to abort her baby. It's my baby. It's my body. So since this is my body, under that type of thinking, then I have the right to share my AIDS. I have the right to share my West Nile disease. I have the right to share my herpes and whatever because I'm just, I'm just free. I'm free to do whatever I want. And if the nation is so free, I should have the right to murder if I feel. If I feel like I want to kill you, you make me sick, I should be free to do that. So why are you prejudiced against one type of activity and then you want to put some type of law and put some type of uh, uh, restriction on another activity? But this is the land of the free then, here you are, you want to complain about black people when you don't teach people about their true history. When they don't have any pride. When you need to teach our people history, their history, whether it's bad or good. They must be, they must be shown uh, how to be independent. They must be taught self-pride in who they are. They can't continue to be looking up at other people, what other people do. You have to have high self-esteem in yourself. What do you expect when people are denied jobs, when people are, are denied proper education, when they don't love themselves? That's what's wrong with you, Uncle Tom. That's what's wrong with you, Dr. European. You don't love yourself. There is no pride in who you are. So you say you are American, but you really don't care nothing about being black. You don't really care about being, you don't care about the struggles of your ancestors. So, this is the result. Because the tire has came off the car and it's going any kind of different way. There is no boats. There's nothing holding us together. So, if there's nothing holding us together, what do you expect? But see, the reason why you don't want us to speak and teach the people, you can't have it both ways. You can't have your cake and eat it too. The reason why you don't like people to learn, black people to learn about themselves because they might get angry at your massa. That's your, the whole thing. Please don't blame the white people. Please don't blame the racist pinks. That's what you call them now, racist pinks. Please don't get mad. They ain't done nothing. But if we're going to talk about ourselves, we have to talk about the whole dynamic. The, we must paint the whole picture. So, these individuals are confused and you are very stupid and ignorant if you continue to listen to these traitors, these Benedict Arnolds that have come among us. Jot down your comments. Want to hear your opinion on the subject? This was and is the Reality's Temple on Earth.